Good morning. Greetings here from Las Vegas. Um, I showed you guys a hotel tour. And I wanted to come on here and talk to you guys about some little stuff. So, basically, I am in Las Vegas. And I it is 7, 7, 14 in the morning. Um, it is like 11 a.m. or almost 12 in Atlanta. So, um, yeah, I've been woke ever since like six something and I just decided to go ahead and get up. So I did sleep with a scarf on. Um, I got up like a few minutes ago and took it off, but that's why my hair is like here. But anyways, I laid back down in bed for just a few minutes. I'm about to do myself a, a face mask and do some other stuff. Um, I have a meeting at 1 p.m., but I don't have my shoes. Um, everything went south with my shoes, actually. <laughs> so I'm about to get up and go try to see if I could find some somewhere else. I'm sorry, my hands in the way. So I'm going to show you guys my view because I did not show you that in my room tour. I did not trash my room. I have stuff just like on the counter and on, the, on this bed over here. So I got two beds. I showed you guys that in the room tour. Um, I sprayed some some gloss on my hair, so that's why it's looking all shiny. But anyway, so let me tell y'all about my experience flying. So, okay, so yesterday was my first time flying ever in life. Um, and I got on a plane for the first time. And I just remember looking outside at the plane I was that I wasn't about to get on. It was, I believe it was a Delta plane, and it looked so big to me. I'm like, this is a huge plane. Like, I am about to get on that plane, and it's going to be in the sky, okay? <laughs> so I was feeling some type of way, like, wow, what am I doing with my life? So I was feeling a mixture of really, really excitement, and I was feeling another mixture of, of calm. Um, I, was, I was feeling um, anxious a little bit, and I was feeling, I was, I was, just, I was just, I don't know. So when I got when we was driving, like on, on the runway, it felt normal. Like, you know, oh, this is just, I'm in a car and we're just driving. <laughs> and we're just driving across the runway. We got ready to take off and everything was fine. You know, I was like, okay, well, that wasn't horrible. And when the altitude kept going up, I was like, yeah, this is, is kind of intense. Like my stomach, my stomach wasn't settling. So... I did not get sick. Um, <laughs> I did not get sick, and I wasn't, I'm not like, I, f I feel fine. But my stomach is just, even now, turning in knots. It wasn't scary to me. Um, my ears kept on popping when I got ready to come back down. And anytime he would go, like, sideways with the plane, my ear, my ears would just do this thing. I'm like, ah! felt like my head was about to explode. It's so weird. But what God created is so beautiful, y'all. I seen the top of Atlanta. I seen the top of Las Vegas and everything looks so beautiful from up there. I wrote two poems in the sky. Um and I I, I feel so accomplished about those cuz they look they sound really good. Um but I feel I still feel a little. So when I got here, my sugar got low. I got here to this hotel, and I kept asking someone, like, how can I get to my room? Because this is a huge hotel. I'm staying at the Luxor Hotel, and um, it's really, really big. So it's like a pyramid and all that. So anyways, I passed by the place where my room was supposed to be several times, but I had no idea this was the place. Like, nobody said, oh, will you come up to come up? this elevator or do this because it's like hidden in the cut nobody told me to do that they was just like oh yeah go ahead keep going around this corner it's gonna be on the left so i did exactly what they told me to do ran into the food court finally i was like let me let me give me something to eat because before i might behind fall out so that's what i did i got food and um because of the plane ride this is why i'm telling you this because of the plane ride, um, I felt the mixture of sugar 
and unhunger. Like my stomach was not wanting me to eat. So I still got like a half. Did y'all know that a hamburger and fries cost $19? I paid $20 for a hamburger and some french fries and a Gatorade. So that's crazy. Um, yeah, and so now I'm here getting ready to get up in a whole second. I, I, I did get up already, but I said, let me get back on here and tell you guys about my flight experience. So the the plane that I flew on was a, a, a A320. I think that's what it's called. Um, so it was one of the biggest, the biggest planes. Um, so anyway, with this company. So when I got there, I was like, um, when I got on there, I was like, ah, I'm about to get in the sky. I just kept thinking, like, when is it going to get up, get up? So we stayed, like, at this medium altitude for a while, and then we ended up just just soaring up there, and I saw the clouds and all the lights and all the stuff. I was like, wow, this is great. Like, wow. Um, the landing was worse than the actual taking off, I would say. Um, but it was either way, it was really nice. I really enjoyed it. Um, I still feel a little woozy. Like my st I still feel like any moment now I'm probably gonna, you know, but I, I know I'm not. So my stomach isn't like that. Like I ain't no regurgitator. I, I, I prefer to just get my stomach settled or whatever. So, um, while I'm out looking for my shoes, I might get up and get me a, a ginger ale as well because my stomach's feeling a little weird. Um, I did not eat on the plane. I did not do anything. So my plane from Atlanta to Las Vegas was like, um, it said, it said two hours, but I think our time difference is so different. I can't really tell. It said my, my, the plane route was an hour and 54 minutes. That hour and 54 minutes felt like four hours to me. I don't know why. And it may have just been longer. I don't know. But what happened was, it's like we got, so I'm not, I don't feel jet lag. I feel, I feel fine. I feel a little bit sleepy. Like, you know, I may have lost out on a couple hours of sleep, but I don't feel that tired. But I do feel like I could sleep some more, but I just can't, you know. I cannot go back to sleep. So I don't know. I guess I'm going to be getting up in a whole second. I set my alarm to wake up at 9 a.m. But I was like, it, there has to be a reason. So I say my prayers, um, you know, I talked to God about what I want to talk to him about. And I did some other stuff. And then I just lay right back down. Um, what else? Oh, yeah. So I'm about to show you guys my view. Hold on. Can you guys see? Look how pretty that is. I mean, it's not a whole lot to look at, but I can Hold on. So I can see other hotels like that. It's pretty cool. I see that over there. You guys probably can't see it because there's a glare on it, but. So I'm back in bed. <laughs> And I hope you guys enjoyed that view. So, yeah. Um, I'm not nude. I do have clothes on. It just doesn't seem <laughs> that way but at this angle. But I do have on clothes. So, um, so I've been having some weird stuff going on with me lately. And it's crazy. So crazy. So, I think it's some, like, paranormal activity going on around me. So, I don't know if you guys can hear this. But the, t the toilet is, like, prematurely just flushed. Okay. And it happened in my job. Like when I would go somewhere and the lights were on when I came back, and I'm like, "This is crazy." It happened to me multiple times, and um, I'm asking other people if they see it. And uh, it's like some when I get in my car, it's some weird stuff going on. Like my mirrors don't seem quite right. Like every time I get in there, my gas hand seeming weird. I'm like, "This everything just seeming weird." So I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I have not used the bathroom this morning. That toilet is going off right now, and it just flushed a little bit. Like, you know you know how you don't hear it flush, but if you, like, pour some water down the, the um, what you call them? I don't want to tell y'all this, because I know y'all going to think I'm crazy. <laughs> but this is what happened, so I'm just going to have to tell y'all how I saw it. So, anyways, I'm listening to it. It's just, like, if you pour some water down the toilet, it'll go off without you flushing it. And that's what it sounds like right now. 
I don't know if the ghost in here using the bathroom or what, but he haven't been bothering me, but he just spooked me out a little bit. I mean, I'm not like scared of anything, but I'm just, whatever. I have my Bible right here. I, uh, I did, I was preparing to read my Bible last night, but, um, I didn't read it. I just said some prayers because y'all hear it. You'll hear it. You hear what I'm saying? It's a ghost in here. It is a ghost in here, my God. Okay, so y'all trying to y'all probably like you awfully calm for a ghost. I do have one. Listen, I am so sorry about this. I have one. <laughs> I have one something. It just it ain't no coverage right now. Okay. <laughs> sorry. So anyways, I'm about to get up and get ready for my day. I I do have stuff I have to do, but I want to come on here and tell you guys about my flight experience. <sighs> My chest is hurting me. I don't know. I think I have like a delayed anxiety. I had a heart. Stop. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think we landed about like nine something this time, and it was a, it was we sat on the platform for a good ten minutes after we just arrived. I had a hard time finding the gate where I had get my luggage everybody was complaining because they couldn't find it and i'm just selling along like mm, da, da, da. and i you know i'm not thinking that it's getting on my nerves at the time but i think it really was it aggravated me a little bit but i wasn't like processing the fact that i was irritated i was just trying to get it over with so i wouldn't have to i ran a really really nice cab driver he was so funny um, and we just told, he was messing with me from the time. I don't know why people love messing with me, but he messed with me from the time he picked me up to the time he dropped me off at this here hotel. Okay. Um, this hotel is like 11 minutes away from the airport driving and I have the event here at this hotel. So that's the reason why I'm like, I don't like I don't neck. I don't like I have no shirt on. It's the ghost. It's the ghost. But <laughs> so I'm going to get off here, but I just wanted to let y'all know. I was telling y'all something, but I can't remember what it was. Huh? Do y'all hear this water running? Do you hear it? I went in the bathroom like a few minutes ago, and it didn't sound like anything. The water wasn't moving. Anything wasn't happening. Like, you know how you turn the water on? I've heard that sound before, but it's actually gulping, like gulping like you poured some water in there. I... I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna be on here looking naked. So let me get off here. I will be back later on to show you guys another part of the hotel. It's so pretty here. It's so so pretty. Um I love it. Um but I could not enjoy it last night because of my irritation I'm trying to get to my room, couldn't find it. I asked three people, they couldn't help me. Finally I got to two people and they said, Hey, how you doing? It kept on talking and I'm just standing there waiting on them to acknowledge that I'm ready to talk to them. And they finally was like, oh, well, I'm sorry. Did you need help with something? And I was like, yes, um, I'm trying to find my room, if you don't mind. Um, so they finally helped me. Then when I called here, and I was like, hey, can you send someone up? And this guy, he, he was like, you know, he didn't ask anybody else for your ID. They asked me for my ID. I'm like, what? What? And you don't want to be here. Y'all hear that? You hear it? You hear these noises? Oh my God. Let me go and consult with the ghost because apparently he got. You hear that? 